Okay guys, may I have your attention please? Uh, you must be feeling quite lazy. Same here, we had a busy day. So anyways, I won't take too much time. Uh, we have two templates to discuss and uh, both templates are most important ones. Today we are going to discuss how to write opinion essay and how to write discussion essay. These two essay types are really, really important. So let's discuss opinion essay. First of all, you should know how to identify that this is opinion essay. It's important because if you know uh, this is opinion essay, then you'll be able to write accordingly. And for you, it's very important to see uh, or identify the type of essay. When you read the topic, you should immediately see this essay is opinion or discussion or problem solution or any other type. Why don't you both go there? There. Same table, yeah? Then you'll be facing me and I'll be able to see you. So uh, we are going to discuss opinion essay. Now listen, whenever they ask you a question and in the question they are asking you for your opinion. There are different ways of saying that. How far do you agree or disagree? What do you think? Do you believe? Do you think in your opinion? Do you think advantages outweigh disadvantages? Is it a positive or a negative development? So whenever they ask you any question where you have a feeling that I have to decide uh, there are two sides and I have to take either side. It means that is an opinion essay, right? And by the way, opinion essay is the most common essay. Opinion and discussion. These two essay types are extremely important. So we are going to go through opinion essays. The topic will be given. There will be a statement. After the statement, it will be written how far do you agree or disagree? To what extent do you agree or disagree? Uh, do you think this is a positive or a negative development or anything like that? Uh, basically, whenever you write opinion essay, you must write five paragraphs. The first paragraph is introduction. The last paragraph is conclusion. In every essay, it's going to be the same, right? Now, the body paragraphs depend on the type of essay. And the body paragraphs can be minimum two and maximum four, right? According to the type of essay, minimum two paragraphs and maximum four paragraphs. When it comes to opinion essay, you will write three body paragraphs. Listen, whenever you have an opinion, there is a reason behind your opinion, okay? If I ask you, uh, do you think winter is better than summer? Now, if you think winter is better than summer, your answer will be based on certain reasons or there would be certain logic behind your answer. That is what we call your arguments. Your arguments to support your opinion. So in your essay, in opinion essay, you will write arguments to support your opinion in body paragraphs. Argument number one, that will support your opinion. And what is your opinion? I agree or I disagree, okay? So then in the next paragraph, you can write argument number two. Again, second reason why you agree or second reason why you disagree, okay? And after that, the third paragraph of opinion essay is very important. We call it contrast paragraph. In this paragraph, you are going to write the opposite. Or for example, if you agree with the topic, if the essay type is agree, disagree, if you agree with the topic, in contrast paragraph, you will write what you disagree with. Or you can write what other people think about that. It's all up to you. I mean, you agree, you think it is in this way, but people who think it is in that way, what do they think? You will write that in contrast paragraph. Uh, again, I tell you there are two ways of writing contrast paragraphs. One is you can write what you disagree with. If you agree with the topic, in contrast, you can write what you disagree with. 
uh, as you know if the SA type is do you think advantages outweigh disadvantages and you think advantages are more than disadvantages. So, first first advantage you will write then you will write second advantage now over here you will write a disadvantage right although you know there are two advantages and I think advantages are more for example going to a foreign country do you think advantages outweigh disadvantages so you think advantages are more and as they use the word advantages outweigh disadvantages so it's a good idea if you agree two advantages and one disadvantage if you disagree two disadvantages and one advantage it's going to be like that okay so there are three four types of opinion essay but whenever they ask you about your opinion what do you think do you believe do you agree so there you can use this style now let's follow this handout this is a little template for your opinion essay formula write an introduction to the topic which clearly states your opinion on the subject uh, okay uh, we've got a three sentence formula to write the first paragraph which is called introduction of opinion essay the first sentence is write a general sentence about the topic the second sentence is paraphrase the question statement or reword the question statement and third sentence is your thesis statement and what is your thesis statement I agree or I disagree I agree with this topic and in this essay I will whatever you will do after that you can write about it is that clear three sentences only they are more than enough first sentence is write a general sentence about the topic second sentence is add another sentence or you can paraphrase the topic and third sentence is your plan and you must write your plan clearly so that writer knows uh, and by the way from thesis sentence you tell the reader of your essay that you understood the type of essay by the way this third sentence uh, depicts your understanding of the topic task exactly uh, task response yes you can call it task response yeah okay now we move on next we've got the plan and I told you there will be five paragraphs in your opinion essay paragraph one is introduction state your opinion paragraph two first reason or argument now first of all just remember one thing in each of these five paragraphs especially in introduction and conclusion there must be one compound sentence got it if you want to get band score seven 7.5 6.5 above you must write at least one sentence in introduction and in conclusion because introduction and conclusion they are usually short that's why if you write one compound sentence compound sentence is a sentence where you synthesize two sentences with the help of conjunction or comma or you use a relative clause that's what we call compound sentence is that clear okay now uh, when you write the body paragraphs in body paragraphs there should be minimum two compound sentences and especially when you write the first sentence you can make it a compound one you can add more ideas to it and when you make a compound sentence be careful you have to use conjunction you have to use comma and you should be expert in doing that you can observe the essays you can practice so this is how you can overcome this thing is this clear again yes uh, you can write complex sentence structures as well I mean uh, compound is when you add two sentences if you add more than two ideas together that becomes complex complex is even better so you do one thing like uh, always remember three C's in IELTS writing especially essay writing the first C is compound sentence the second C is complex sentence and the third C is conditional sentence you must if this is the case if people are allowed to and then you can come come up with that and uh, as far as conditional sentences are concerned there are four types of conditional sentences you can learn them I mean compound complex and conditional sentences you can learn in 20 30 minutes and then you can practice and you can make them perfect 
No, you should not add any question sentence in your IELTS essay. Yes, in first paragraph you can when you are focusing the topic, but I would not advise you to do so. I mean, otherwise you've got very uh, fair method of doing it, so you can just follow that simply, right? Okay, so uh, now what will come in the paragraph? In the paragraph, first of all, you will introduce the point, the first topic. Then after that, you will give a reason or you will explain that point. After that, you can give example. And after example, you can conclude the point. So it's argument number one, explanation, example, and conclusion. And conclusion means you link that argument with the main topic. Now, if you take a look at this uh, handout, you can just see here. Uh, I'm, I'm on page number six, please. This handout is attached along with the video in a link. So uh, let's do second paragraph. It's written, firstly, after firstly, write your first argument here to support your opinion. So you can write a compound sentence over here. And if you want to add some more, you can write further more, moreover, or anything like that. And then after this, for example, now example is not necessary in each body paragraph. In one paragraph, you can give example. In one paragraph, you can explain or elaborate your point. But minimum, there should be one to two examples in your essay. If you have a relative example, sometimes you can create an example. Sometimes you generate an example from common sense. Okay, so an example should not be based on any survey or any statistics, for example, population figures show this thing, or a survey that was conducted in 2019 in USA, according to the survey, or according to the magazine, you should not give any references like this. Just give some real life examples, some general examples from your experience, and even if you don't have such experience, you can generalize anything. Generalize mean you think, that I can give this example, I can make it. And as I told you before, write your essay for international examiner. Examiner doesn't know who you are, where you are from, your country, your first language and all that. So that's why write something which is globally understandable. If you write anything, like people can understand it all over the world. That's why I recommend you to use international names, international problems, international situations. That's even better. So we have this template. And uh, now let's just go through this uh, essay on page number seven, please. Uh, we've got the first paragraph. It is written according to the same formula. There's a question mark also to focus on the topic. Second paragraph, firstly, life in jail is far too comfortable. Now, this is what we call topic sentence. So, argument number one is life in jail. Now, what's the topic, by the way? Please, let's read the topic. Prison is the best punishment for criminals. Prison means jail. Best punishment means ideal penalty for criminals. Criminals means offenders thieves and all, all those bad people. How far do you agree or disagree with this statement? So if you agree, it means prison is the best punishment. If you disagree, say prison is like uh, heaven for these people. They get uh, three times meal, they watch TV, they play games and they rather enjoy that. Okay, we are talking about the prison of foreign countries like American prison, Australian prison and all that. Not over here, okay? But even in our countries, once somebody is sentenced, the prisons are fine. They get the food, there is proper medication and all that, yeah? And even they teach the prisoners also. Some, some, some prisoners, they do MA or they complete their graduation or they learn some artwork as well. They learn some handicrafts as well, okay? So this uh, essay says, I completely disagree. So for disagreement, reason number one is life in jail is far too comfortable for prisoners. Next, for, for example, now you can see it's on page number seven. 
the next paragraph. For example, then we have the example, many inmates have access to luxuries. Inmates mean the people who are in the jail. So for prisoners, they have used the word inmates. Synonyms. Uh, as far as vocabulary is concerned, as you know, there are four criteria, 25% marks for each criteria. Number one, task achievement or task response, that you have covered the topic thoroughly. Number two, grammatical range and accuracy, that you have used a wide range of grammatical structures. And that's what I told you, uh, compound sentences, complex sentences, and conditional sentences. After this lexical resource, lexical resource means vocabulary and the definition of lexical resource is you have used a wide range of common words on that topic. It's not that they will see difficult words or very high vocabulary. They don't anticipate high vocabulary. They only want to see that if the topic is prison. Do you know any other word for prison? If there is a topic about criminals, do you know any other word for criminals? Like four, five, six words for criminals? So this is what they want to see. So this is written here, many inmates have access to luxuries such as televisions, computers and sports facilities and so on. In other words, now one, one uh, marking criteria is coherence and cohesion. Coherence means whatever you have written it is related to the topic. It has relevance. Whatever you have written, your ideas have relevance. Ideas are coherent, right? And uh, cohesion is there is a proper flow of your ideas. Now, what is proper flow? When you express one point, you elaborate that point, you give example of that point, you conclude that point. That's what we call cohesion, that the flow of ideas is very very smooth reader can easily understand so for this we have some words these words are called cohesive devices cohesive devices are furthermore moreover by this i mean first of all secondly finally so you need to put these tags so that uh, the fluency of the ideas like ideas are coherent and uh, there is cohesion in that is that clear okay so these are four criteria, and whenever you write a paragraph, look at that paragraph carefully. Number one, task response. Is this paragraph according to the topic? Number two, grammatical range and accuracy. Did I use compound sentences, complex sentences, conditional sentences, and all that? Number three, lexical resource. Just check, did I use a wide range of words which are related to the topic? And again, simple words. Like for teacher, you can use teacher, mentor, trainer, right? Or tutor, yeah. Come up with a variety of words. Don't use teacher, 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 everywhere, teacher, 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 and then you'll become a cheater, okay? So you need to give a variety to the examiner. That's important, okay? So for lexical resource, the key word is a wide range of words, simple words even, but they should be related to the topic and the use of words must be appropriate. You should know, th there is one thing we call it the function of words. So you should be familiar with the function of word, where to use such words and all that. Okay, all right. So uh, let's move on. In the same way, we got another paragraph. Another reason why I disagree with prison as a punishment is that now, when you say another reason, it means reason number two. You are trying to achieve coherence and cohesion. And with prison as punishment is that you are paraphrasing the topic, reminding the reader that this is my topic. And what's the reason? A large number of prisoners are not actually a danger to society. Uh, argument number one was life in jail is too comfortable. Argument number two is large number of prisoners are not actually a danger to society then they give the example of shoplifters and they are locked up with the same people uh, with the same criminals uh, who are rapists and murderers and all that is this clear i mean you should uh, like today one of you told me that i spent 40 minutes writing letter right so i mean if you're spending 40 minutes writing letter what will you do with the essay and 
letter writing does not involve thinking. Letter writing involves only storytelling, story making. Whatever the topic is, you need to just close your eyes for a few seconds, visualize some images, and then you are ready to write the letter. Whereas for essay writing, yes, you need to come up with some ideas, you need to think deeply and all that. So please manage your time. For letter writing, 20 minute time is a luxurious time for you. Because 150 words or even 200 words, in 10 minutes you can easily write down 200 words. Very easily. Okay. So if you've got 20 minutes, in, it means you can just spend 5 minutes reading the topic. But, and one more thing, you must spare some time for proofreading. Now, what is proofreading? You are checking your own. First, you are the candidate. Next, you are the examiner. Yeah, all right. This is, but don't do <laughs> tick and cross, okay? Don't do that. But if there is any careless mistake, any spelling, sometimes you forget to uh, put the dot of I and cross the T and all that. You can just see these careless mistakes. It's not advisable at this point to change your answer, that you are removing it. I want to change this entire line and all that. Then there'll be a mishmash of your essay, okay? Don't change your answer even at the end, that you come up that, okay, no, I can write better. Because, you know, every time you come up, you, you come up with new ideas. You look at that, when you reach the end, you are doing proofreading, then you say, I have better ideas now. See, when I call you for speaking, when you go back after speaking, you think, I could speak even better. I could come up with better ideas and all that. Okay, so this is how you got to go on with it. Now, let's go to contrast paragraph, page number eight, please. Contrast paragraph should always start with some phrase that tells us that now you're going to talk about opposite thing. So that phrase can be on the other hand, on the contrary, However, on the other side of the situation, sometimes the flip side of the situation and all that. So they've written, on the other hand, there is an argument that prison can help to rehabilitate offenders. Now, what is that? This is the opposite point. First, you are saying that prison is not the best place for prisoners. Now you're saying, on the other hand, there is an argument. Now, remember, Whenever, there are two types of contrasts, as I told you. If the essay type is agree, disagree, then in contrast paragraph, you should write what you dis. If you agree with the topic, in contrast, you write what you disagree. So there are two ways of writing it. Either you write what you disagree with, or you write what other people think and they disagree with that. That is why contrast paragraph should be written in third person. Third person mean people. People believe, a large number of people believe that. People think that, they argue, they often believe, they often say, they bring this example. So you can see here, on the other hand, there is an argument. Now see that, there is an argument means it's not my personal argument. There is an argument that prison can help to rehabilitate offenders. Now, rehabilitate is a very common word, but it's very appropriate word over here. Rehabilitate means to make someone a normal human being once again. If you catch a thief, you do the training of the thief, and at the end, the thief says, I will not steal things anymore and all that, okay? So, uh, it's that. Then they say, as a result, many never re-offend when they are released. So you can write your contrast in two to three sentences. And again, make sure there must be a compound sentence in them. Okay, last we have conclusion. Now let's take a look at the conclusion. In conclusion, although it is a common belief, now you are going to paraphrase the topic once again. Okay, although there is a common belief or it is a common belief that prison is the best way to punish criminals. So first, you will paraphrase the topic, number one. Number two, you will paraphrase your own opinion. We call it your personal opinion. So you will paraphrase your personal opinion as well. I believe it is too soft and that it is not necessary. Now this is the summary of your two arguments. It is too soft means 
exactly it's far comfortable for the prisoners and it is not necessary a large number of prisoners are not danger to society so this is the summary and you might have noticed one thing they did not use the same words they used different words for that for comfortable they said too soft and for large number of prisoners are not danger to society they said not necessary in majority of the cases okay uh, so after this we've got uh, personal opinion finally you gave your opinion paraphrase the topic we call it global opinion an overall solution or an overall opinion personally i think prison should be the last option when all else has failed and this opinion should be different now they say finally or personally i think prison should be the last option when all else has failed means when other means of punishment they fail then they should be the prison one now let's summarize whenever there is the essay opinion essay the first thing is you can easily understand from the topic and the topic will be given like how far do you agree do you agree or disagree what do you think do you believe is it a positive or a negative development do you think advantages outweigh like that so once you identify it is opinion essay immediately five paragraph formula will come to your mind first paragraph introduction first sentence is a general sentence about the topic second sentence is paraphrase the statement and third sentence is your thesis sentence that is your plan what you think about that then you will write first body paragraph in that paragraph you will state your first reason behind your opinion whether you agree or disagree next body paragraph second reason behind your opinion or second logical argument behind your opinion with explanation with example and this paragraph is for contrast and you will write contrast in third person plural okay and finally you can conclude your essay and very comfortably very easily you can write uh, you know if you identify the type of essay and you know how many paragraphs are there and you know what to write in each paragraph then you don't have to think then you only have to see okay this i have a plan already i just need to come up with some ideas and then i'll start my essay opinion essay you agree two reasons for agreement and start your essay you disagree two reasons for disagreement and start your essay advantages disadvantages essay two advantages two disadvantages once you think about two advantages two disadvantages start your essay problem solution essay reason 1 plus solution 1 reason 2 plus solution 2 reason 3 plus solution 3 once you come up with these three ideas start your essay okay so if you know all these things if these things are at your fingertips then you will never look here and there see sometimes in examination room students are looking here and there and they don't know what to do because you know if uh, we give some direction to your thoughts then your thoughts will come quickly if there is a pathway for your thoughts then they will come quickly now if you know this is the problem and i have to think about the cause of the problem your brain will give you the cause if you are only thinking about the problem problem my topic is this problem is this problem problem you'll never come up with that and once you find the cause of the problem your brain will automatically give you the reason that this can be the reason i mean mashallah all of you are learned people ha huh? she has written books as well so this is very good he has written some books and phd students read those books yeah let's impress the audience <laughs> here okay so you can do it all easily now listen uh if you want to improve your political knowledge you read newspapers if you want to improve your poetic knowledge that you know poetry then you read poetry books If you want to improve your knowledge on songs this is the song which movie who is the singer then you listen to songs so if you want to improve your essay writing skills read essays with analytical eyes 
What is analytical I? First paragraph. How many sentences? Three. Okay. Now, what is this type of sentence? This is simple. Yeah, this is compound. Yeah, this is conditional. So, once you read essays like this, your brain will observe and absorb. Okay, this is the way it should be done. So, without reading the essay, if like, you know, sometimes student asks me, sir, I will show you one essay every day. And I say, sorry, please don't do it. One essay every day means you'll be writing one wrong essay every day. And then you want to write a pile of essays. You say, I have written 100 essays. Instead of that, if you read one essay a day, that is much better. But again, don't read it like you are reading Thirsty Crow, once upon a time, there was a crow. No, you need to see what's the topic. Now, which sentence is what, how they are talking about it, and what's the end. Keep in mind four things. What thing is achieving here task achievement? How is task achievement? How is grammatical range? How is lexical resource? How is coherence and cohesion? So once your eyes go to these four things, when you write, your brain will give you the ideas, write this word to achieve coherence and cohesion. You should write this one to achieve task response. So once you do this, you'll be able to get very good bench score. In IELTS writing, students often get low bench score and the reason is not that they are not capable of doing it. The reason is they follow some wrong plan or some wrong formula, right, which they learned somewhere from the internet, from YouTube. There was an IELTS guru and that Guruji said, these seven words will give you seven band, bacha. Okay? Then you say, Swami, I need seven band, so I should follow this and all that. Okay, so be careful because sometimes that misleading information, I told you, I gave you the example before. A student without preparation got around 6.5 band in IELTS reading, writing, and he needed seven band, and he thought with a little effort I can make it better. He started going through resources on internet and he learned a lot about IELTS writing. In second attempt, he got six band. And he was like, sir, last time I didn't know about these things. This time I wrote much better essay and all that. So now you can understand what could be the reason. Wrong information followed confidently. And then you have this feeling that my writing went very well. I put all those words there. Okay, so please be careful. Examiner wants to see your natural writing style. Examiner doesn't want to see you copied one from there, one from there, one from there. That will not help you at all. Okay, all the best.